All right, hello. So this is going to be the second attempt recording this. I tried a couple hours ago, and it worked a little bit, but, you know, not wasn't up to the standard that I wanted it to be. So I had a lot of trouble keeping it concise, and I'm probably going to have trouble this time, but long story short, I ran into a problem where I found out that in New Vegas's game engine, you actually can't limit the frame rate, so I had to go out and find the correct uh, injection templates and, you know, I don't know, it's really technical, but this is Fallout New Vegas at a steady 30 frames per second. If you look up in the top left corner, you'll be able to see that it is 30 frames per second. The reason that it isn't exactly 30 frames per second or 30 hertz is because the game broyo engine is old as shit and stupid as fuck and that's a deadly combination which causes it to have this infamous stuttering like consistent stuttering they call it the 64 hertz glitch where the game actually refreshes itself something like every 64 or 64 times every second, so 1 over 64, as opposed to 1 over 60, which is, uh, or even 1 over 30, which is the standard frame refresh time for a monitor. So this causes an interesting problem, whereby for 4 out of every 60 frames, you will have the game not time update. To fight or update twice. It's really random. So what that translates to is the game jumping around. Now, what I'm using to demonstrate a version of the game, or what I'm using to demonstrate 30 hertz is a version of the game that has a much higher resolution. So it causes the engine internally to sample 1000 times per second or once every millisecond as opposed to what was it before? 64 times every second, so much higher internal rendering rate. But none of that really matters. I'm actually not sure why I said that, sorry. But if you look, you'll see that this is basically the game at 30 hertz, and you know, it's definitely playable, but everything's a bit choppy. It makes moving around quickly a little bit difficult. Uh, among other things. On console, it's a much bigger problem because the game samples lower than 64 times per second, I believe. So, it actually slows the gameplay down Was entirely. But not in like a slow motion kind of way. More in a like... You know, somebody's calling you from Europe and you only hear every other word they say kind of way. Not very fun. But what I'm going to do is turn off the game, and yes, yeah, I'll show you this. I can show you everything you need to see. So if you look over here, this is the initializer file, and right over here is the frame rate management section. And what we're looking for is the maximum frames per second. And if we up that back up to 60, You'll see, hopefully you'll see, I'm still not exactly sure how this works in recording context, a pretty significant difference. Even now you can probably tell that the cursor is moving much more smooth. The cursor on PC is kind of shitty, it still has a mouse acceleration because the game Royo engine is absolute trash. I have no idea why they keep using it. They really need to stop. But you'll be able to see, or you should be able to see, that the game is running much smoother. There's a lot more actions and a lot more information being thrown at you every second, which allows you to make decisions more easily and even your brain to react a little bit more naturally. There's this pervasive myth going around that the human eye can only see 24 frames per second, which is really asinine, because 
I'll try not to get into this too long, but the human brain isn't a digital device, right? So it has no finite sampling number. The brain continues to receive information on an infinite basis, right? Like there is no time step for which the brain receive information, receives information, it's constantly doing it. So for somebody to say that it happens at X frames per second is really just I guess ignorant. It just totally ignores biology as a whole. But you should be able to see, particularly if you look towards the ground at the tiles and these straight lines, that the movement they have is a lot more smooth going from side to side and coming towards you. And that's just because you won't have, or you have twice as much information every second being thrown at you, right? So, sorry I'm having so much trouble explaining this, but essentially it means that where you would have like a millimeter gap in between two lines when you jump from one frame to another, now that gap is only half a millimeter, and your brain is given more information from which it can extrapolate this thing called motion blur, which is something that the human Time brain does fight. naturally, but has a little bit harder time doing it. And originally I wanted to talk about another another concept, which is oops, which is this counter right up here if you see the mouse cursor. This is the frame time, so that's the time it takes for the frame to be actually be, actually be delivered to the screen. What the f this shit? What the hell was that? That was definitely Fallout. Okay, so that's new. Cool. Glad I was recording it. Anyway, I was going to talk about that, and that's basically the time it takes for the frame to actually be delivered to your uh, system, to your monitor specifically, and the higher that is, the more disorienting games tend to be. If you have... I don't know. I'm not really sure that I could talk about that without somebody having a frame of reference, right? So, hopefully this is helpful. I'm going to give one last example before I stop, which is the... just super exaggerated 15 frames per second. And this is really just to prove a point. If you play, uh... what's it called? GTA 5 on Xbox 360, this is pretty much the exact same experience. Now, that's not bashing the Xbox 360, I'm actually kind of amazed with how good it looks, but definitely choppy. No, not, not a very smooth experience. So this is really going to give you a good look at what I meant by the movement of the lines. Specifically, ooh. Okay, but specifically the lines here, and even the cursor you can see only updates every fifteenth of a second. But you see it's... Sorry about that. Jesus. Talk about production quality, huh? But you can see, the lines move very, very choppily. So, in fact, the entire game just doesn't run as well. You start missing animation cycles, and that's the real problem once you start missing animation cycles, but, you know, who knows. Hopefully this has been helpful. I really want to make things that are helpful for people, and, I don't know, maybe this is. 
If you want to know more, please let me know. I'd love to make another video describing other things in more detail. Fighting over. But hopefully this should be enough. Thanks for watching.